Hey everyone, it's me Jen, and today's video is sponsored by Colgate Optic White. As you know, I'm a pretty smiley gal, so I'll be showing you all how to get a brighter designer smile. So let's start the countdown. The first no-brainer tip for a better smile is to have your lips exfoliated. No one wants dry, chapped lips, but instead of spending a fortune on expensive lip scrubs, make it at home. First, you're gonna need to grab some sugar and then add some honey. Mix it really well and then apply it onto your lips. This is gonna scrub off all of that flaky, dead skin and it tastes delicious. If the first scrub is a little too messy for you, I got you covered. Another easy way to exfoliate those lips is to apply some lip balm and then with a clean disposable mascara wand or spoolie, gently brush away all that dead skin. Now your lips are ready for any sort of product and it's gonna enhance that smile. Now that your lips are unchecked, let's tackle those teeth because without them, there wouldn't even be a smile. I like to keep my teeth pearly white by using my favorite whitening toothpaste, which is Colgate Optic White Platinum High Impact White. I use this twice a day, in the morning and night, and it helps me achieve a brighter and bolder smile that helps me stand out. It protects my enamel and contains anti-cavity fluoride protection. Now my breath is minty fresh and my smile is ready to go. I'm a bit of a caffeine addict, but unfortunately coffee and tea are notorious for staining your teeth. Not a good look. So the next time you grab a drink, always make an effort to use a straw. If you want to be more environmentally conscious, definitely invest in a metal one. One trick I like to do before I add any lip color is I always like to use a little bit of concealer or foundation all around my mouth. Any discoloration around there can really distract the lip color and your smile. Applying a light layer of concealer will ensure that your smile gets its best start. Also, by using this technique, you're able to get the exact color of the lipstick as it does in the packaging because you're able to give it a neutral base. Another lip trick I like to do to make my smile a little bit brighter is to grab some highlighter. Then, with a fluffy brush, I dust some on my cupid's bow. If you watched any of my makeup tutorials, you know that I never ever skip this step. It just gives the illusion that your lips are fuller and it adds a little sparkle on the lips, which is a nice touch. If you're wanting your teeth to look extra white, try using a red lipstick with cool undertones. Blue and orange are opposites, so the cool tones cancel out the warm. In this clip, I'm wearing a lipstick with orange undertones, and as you can see, it's kind of bringing out more of the yellowness on my teeth. In this clip, I'm wearing lipstick with cool undertones. See? Lipsticks that have a blue base will help cancel out any yellow on your teeth, so give it a go. If you want more of an innocent smile, opt for the gradient lip. This was and is a huge beauty trend in Korea and it's so simple to do. All you gotta do is apply concealer all over the lips, then apply a light shade of pink or whatever light shade on your lips. Then grabbing a deeper shade of pink, I'm gonna apply it onto the inside of my lips and then slowly dab it all out. It's very subtle and innocent and it gives off the I just finished my popsicle look. Glitter lips are trending right now, but they're not as functional in real life when you're actually using large glitter particles. An easy way to incorporate this glitter lips trend into your daily life is by grabbing a glitter eyeshadow you have in your makeup collection, and then after you've applied a lipstick, gently press it onto your lips. It's gonna give you that slight shimmer, but without the choking hazard. The last tip is something you should do if you wanna avoid a situation like this. Every time you finish doing your lipstick, keep it off your teeth by pointing a finger in your mouth, wrapping your lips around it, and then pulling it out. This is gonna ensure that you don't have any lipstick on those pearly whites. So those are my 10 lip tips on how to get a brighter smile. I wanna thank Colgate Optic White for partnering with me in this video, and I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you guys happen to have any lip tricks or hacks that make your smile a little bit wider, feel free to write it down in the comments down below. I would love to read about it. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, please do and hit that like button if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Uh,